Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Hamilton Beach Indoor Grill. This grill measures 6.8 inches tall, 16.7 inches wide, and 12.4 inches deep. The cord length is 24 inches. The actual cooking plate measures 12 inches across by 8.5 inches. It is non-stick. In the instruction manual there is a cooking chart for meat, fish, and vegetables. There are also a few recipes. If you're cooking marinated or fatty food, you don't need to use any oil on the grill. If you're cooking lean food like fish, then coat the grill with oil. You can either wipe it on or spray it. Make sure to do that before you heat the unit. The temperature dial goes from 200 degrees Fahrenheit all the way to 450 degrees for searing. To turn the unit off, there is no off button. Just turn the dial all the way to minimum and unplug the unit. The drip tray slides out. It's removable and dishwasher safe. The cover and cooking plate are also dishwasher safe. Just don't use the sani setting if you're using the dishwasher. To clean, unplug the unit and wait for the grill to cool. When you first get the unit, remove the cover and wash it. You can remove the cover when it's perfectly straight. It pulls straight up. To attach, just put it straight down. Also remove the cooking plate and wash. To remove the grill, just pull straight up. The prongs on the back of the grill sit right in the slot. Make sure to dry all the parts before using. First, let's grill some vegetables. Close the grill, plug in the unit, turn the dial to 350. The power light will turn on when you plug in the machine and the green light will come on when the set temperature is reached. In general, it's best to heat the grill for 5 to 10 minutes, especially if you're searing food. I've marinated mushrooms, green and red bell peppers in oil and balsamic vinegar. The green light has come on, now we can grill. Open the lid. Some mushrooms. So I can fit one medium red bell pepper, a large green bell pepper, and eight baby bella mushrooms. I'll cook the vegetables for four minutes and turn them over. It's been four minutes. Mushrooms are definitely charred on one side. The peppers are also charred. You can see all the peppers and the mushrooms are all charred on one side. So the heat looks to be pretty even. Close the grill and I'll cook for a few more minutes. It's been another two minutes. The mushrooms look done so I'm going to take them off. The peppers could use another minute or two. You can see the mushroom is perfectly grilled. Now the peppers are done. Both sides are cooked nicely and you get some grill marks. Turn the dial to minimum and unplug the unit. Let's check the drip tray. You can see the excess marinade collected in the tray. I'll discard this and grill some chicken. Since the plate is non-stick, it's easy to wipe down. Heat the grill to 350 again. These are marinated chicken thighs. I can just fit eight thighs. I'll check on these in a few minutes. This is after 10 minutes. been about 12 minutes. The chicken is cooked, it looks good. There's all the fat and the marinade from the chicken. It's not smoky in the room. If you're searing burgers or anything fatty and you live in an apartment, it's best to turn on the exhaust fan. Chicken's nicely cooked and juicy. 
So these chicken thighs are cooked in about 22 minutes. And there's eight pieces here, so this grill is big enough to cook food for a large family. You can cook the meat in about 20 minutes, and if you're using chicken breasts, less time, about 15 minutes. Grilling vegetables takes only 10 minutes. So an entire dinner can be done in under 30 minutes. Of course, for a smaller family, you can cook meat on one side, vegetables on the other, take the vegetables off first, and everything will be done in 20 minutes. Next, I'll make some turkey burgers. I've turned the dial to sear. The green light turned on, now we can make the burgers. These are three big turkey burgers, and I like to grill some onion with the burgers. I've put a tiny bit of oil on the onion. After just a few minutes, you can see the nice grill marks on the onion. Turkey burgers have perfect grill marks on them. Take the onions off first or they'll burn. You can see there's grill marks on both sides. The burgers are now ready. We'll cook them for a few more minutes. You can see both sides have nice grill marks. And these are lean turkey burgers. So what I'm going to do is turn the heat down. If you were making regular beef burgers with a lot more fat in it, you can just leave it on sear. So I'm going to cover this and turn the heat down to 350. When the burgers are done, you can put some cheese on if you'd like. Cover it, let it melt. You can put the onions on. These are three big turkey burgers. You could fit about six big burgers on this grill or eight smaller ones. You can also heat up the burger buns on the grill. Nicely cooked juicy burger. If you want to try out this Hamilton Beach Grill, I've put a link in the description below. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. Subscribe for more reviews and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.